Yvonne Nikwe. Hello, Yvonne. Good afternoon, my name. Now, we just had the police PRO in the Eastern Region talking about the patrol team going round. Now, 24 hours after the clashes, tell us about the atmosphere there. Uh, when the atmosphere is as occurring and its environment is uh, now very calm after yesterday's incident, the police are, of course, in the area. As I speak to you, the police is meeting with the uh, regional and uh, constituency heads of both the NPP and the NDC to uh, see how to go around the matter. Uh, we're just hoping that by the end of the week, they'll get the perpetrators to book and then uh, there wouldn't be any tension in the area. Uh, again, because we have just few days um, to the election. And still arrest, nothing made yet so far from this morning till now. Uh, the police says they haven't made any arrest and that uh, as, uh, the, the way the incident occurred, uh, there was no way they could arrest anybody. And so they, they knew that those who had their properties destroyed may know uh, any of those perpetrators, whichever party they belong to. And so they are just uh, appealing to them to identify those people and then report to their station. They are also appealing to those who had their properties destroyed to officially lodge a complaint with their officers so that uh, they could act upon it as quickly as possible. In your earlier report, you mentioned that the number of wounded persons uh, was 10. Has the number gone up or is still the same? Our official report says that the number is 10. And so we just have the 10 and we haven't had any increase yet. Thank you very much, Evo Nikri, 